Back in November 2016, Huami announced that it was bringing its beautiful sub-$200 Mazfit Pace smartwatch to the United States. With a built-in GPS, heart rate sensor and smartphone notification support, could this be the fitness tracker, smartwatch hybrid we've been waiting for? Find out, in our full Amazfit Pace review. I'm going to come right out and say it, I think the Amazfit Pace is beautiful. It strikes a great balance between sporty and classy that not too many other smartwatches can achieve. That's mostly thanks to the device's dark ceramic bezel, which not only looks good, but has proven to be quite durable throughout its testing period. The watch case also features a small, physical button on the top right edge, which acts as a home button as well as a way to wake the device. Surprisingly, this small, inconspicuous button is actually one of the watch's main downfalls. The watch comes with a 1.34-inch transflective color LCD display, with a resolution of 320 by 300. It's certainly not the most high-quality display I've ever seen on a smartwatch, but it is very impressive, especially for this price point. It's visible indoors, even when the backlight is turned off. Plus, this is a transflective display, so the more daylight that hits the screen, the easier it is to read outdoors. On another positive note, the rubber straps that come with the Amazfit Pace are high quality and extremely comfortable. They're also interchangeable, which means you'll be able to swap out a rubber strap for just about any standard 22mm watch strap you have lying around. One of the other notable additions to the Amazfit Pace's design is its IP67 water and dust resistance rating. This means you'll be able to take it in a pool, though I'm not sure why you'd want to, the Pace only tracks a handful of workouts, none of which include swim tracking. Distance tracking when running indoors is another story, though. On the treadmill at my gym, I ran 5.02 miles in all though the pace told me I only went 4.28 miles. Not that this is a huge issue, I had the correct stats on the treadmill, anyway, but it's still worth addressing. The watch also lets you calibrate your distance after the fact, which is pretty helpful if you're trying to keep an accurate activity history. Take a look at the screenshots below, compared to the image attached above of the pace's heart rate readings.